To other matters now, as peace gradually returns to Borneo State, uh, internally displaced persons have been supported with food items as well as cash assistance to enable them to return to their ancestral homes and start a new life. In this report, TVC News' Jesse Tafida sought to find out how the IDPs are faring with this new development. Dream come true for most IDPs at Bekasi Camp to be resettled in their places of abode after spending seven years in the camp. The state government had not too long ago disbursed 500 million naira and some food items to the IDPs as they get set to go back to their places of abode. This is how the camp looks like as the IDPs gather their things to bid farewell to the camp. IDPs at Bekasi camp are complying with government's directive to vacate the camp within 10 days. But this not seem to be going that well with some of the IDPs who are having farmlands around the state capital. They may need a few more days to harvest their farm produce. Duguseshua, a farmer, told TVC News that she's still harvesting her farm produce and will be happy to stay in the camp for a day or two before leaving to Goza local council. She says this year's rainy season has yielded positive results. The news of going back to our ancestral homes has shared our hearts, and that is why you see us out here packaging our farm produce. I won't be going back immediately until I harvest all my crops. The story is different with Alei Kume as he's excited to go back to Mongono before the sun sets. We wait patiently as he dismantles his tent together with his family and loads his property into this vehicle. His wife took her time to do the dishes as she packs them also in the vehicle. From here, straight to Mongono. He says, I'm excited to go back to Mongono after all these years. The experience in the camp can never be compared with our hometown. Today, I feel like a free man and I thank the government for giving us food and cash assistance. This will help in no small measure as I start a new life with my family. The state government on its part reassures the IDPs that it is safe for them to go back. Whoever says that the government is pushing or forcing them to leave, that is, that's not true. It's really. And in fact, for them to go back to their own ancestral form is the better for them. Um, giving you know, them confined into an IDP without putting any single input, nothing, you know, either for themselves or for the society, uh, it is not good enough. Bekasi IDP camp, which is a government uncompleted housing estate, is beginning to be a shadow of itself as IDPs leave the camp. Children of the camp are not being left behind and have also packed their luggage in preparation to bid the camp goodbye. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Meiduguri.